AI and robotics are being used in every part of life, from how we drive to how we use our phones, how our data is managed around the world, and even how our homes will be built in the future. In today's video, we will talk about artificial intelligence and life in 2030. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. The field of data analytics has made a lot of progress. Watson, which is a set of algorithms made by IBM, has been a very good example of how to manage a lot of data and how to organize it so that you can see patterns that might not have shown up otherwise. That's a big step forward, but people often think that this jump is the same as machine intelligence and how we think of human intelligence, which is not true. So, the recent big steps forward in data analytics are important, but there is still a lot of room for people to help these systems. I think that the way of the future is for people and these artificial intelligence technologies to work together. How is the world of artificial intelligence and robots changing society and us? In a way, it makes us smarter because computers let us search these databases in ways we couldn't do before. It will change things like healthcare, where machine learning techniques will be used to try to figure out what symptoms might be signs of certain diseases. At the moment, Artificial intelligence is not nearly as smart as people would like it to be. We're still a long way from having a car that can drive itself in all situations and at all times. However, we will soon have cars that can drive themselves very reliably in slow conditions and relatively structured environments, like on freeways, where we can add extra sensors to the roads. What do you see as the ethical implications of AI and robotics? We need to make sure that the way we program systems to make decisions is in line with what we think is right, and that the sensors can actually see the world as it is. So, we're not even close to letting robots fire weapons because they can't find their targets with a lot of certainty. People are arguing a lot about driverless cars right now, like how Google has set up an algorithm to hit a building before it hits a person. It's interesting to think about the idea of utilitarianism. Should we try to do what's best for the most people, or should we go for the greater good? Why is a pedestrian more important than me when I'm being smashed into a building? I think people can accept that they can be killed by another person driving a car, but we cross an imaginary line when we think it's a computer that makes the decision to take their life instead of someone else's. So, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get all latest updates.